And we turn to one more candidate for Suffolk County Register of Deeds, Margarita Champa Coyne. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, we have almost an abundance of real estate background in, in this election. Talk about yours. Well, um, I am uniquely qualified. I believe my career path and um, my understanding of title and land records has led me to believe that I'm the best candidate for the position. I have over 25 years of experience in title and land records. Um, I was a former operations manager for a national title insurance company, so I've managed people and budgets, and I understand the implications of land records and title and how important they are to not only the title holder, the record holder, the property holder, but just business itself. Well, every time property changes hands, you have to make sure there's no outstanding claim that's overlooked on a piece yes. of property. And these days, you know, with, with mortgages being sold to secondary markets and foreclosure battles, Absolutely. Um, this can get very tricky. Right. And that's where understanding the implications of poorly recorded documents or unnecessary documents, poorly drafted documents, how they really affect the title chain. I think that's where my expertise comes into play. Um, and the ease of use of researching. That's something that technology can certainly, certainly helps with. I think if folks know that there's easier ways to research with techno technology, software programs that are available nationwide, certainly working with the Registry of Deeds and the Secretary of State's office, I think that we can make things more accessible. Speaking only as an amateur uh, on a computer terminal, I, I've, I've been really hit and mi miss with, with things I've been trying to find in the registry. What would you do to change things? I think that that's a great question because it really is a simple way to search. Um, I would when I talk about making it more accessible, very simple, uh, instructional, I call them cheat sheet videos or even a, a little guide on the registry itself and in a, another language. Everything is up there in English. We certainly have the ballot in multiple languages. I don't see why working together with the registry and the Secretary of State's office, we could create multi-language instruction cards right on the website itself. You click on it. You're the holder of the property, you are the grantee, you're selling the property, you're the grantor. The indices are there and they can be easily, easily searched. And again, I think if you provide the education and the resource, folks can do it easily. We're talking with Margarita champa Coyne, candidate for Suffolk County Register of Deeds. Uh, it, it sounds like you really enjoy the work you've been doing. It sounds like it's important work. Uh, you could keep on doing it. So why do you want to be Register of Deeds? Well, I, I do enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of wonky, but I have a passion for title and land records. Um, I'm Boston born and raised. So I know that working with what I do, I can make it easier for the constituents of Suffolk County. I know that advocating for them and finding easier ways to access records, that's, I think that's a good thing. And that's why I'm running. Of course, of course the other uh, angle here that everybody has to, to work with is that you have limited control over this office right. if you're elected, because a lot of that is still with the Secretary of Commonwealth. So talk about how you see your role in trying to exert control. Well, I think you're, you're absolutely right. You work under the guidelines of the Secretary, you work under the Secretary of State's office. I think for me, I could hit the ground running because I understand, again, how important title and land records are. I would use the resources that are available through the Secretary of State's office to advocate for the best use of those resources. So maybe, so certainly advocating for an easier functionality with the website, a single portal where you could research all records, um, multiple, multiple language documents or instruction formats. And when I say documents, I don't mean that the document itself has to be in a different language. I'm saying that the guidelines to preparing that document for the constituent, the person walking in and saying, hey, how do I find my deed? If you can turn around and say, you know what, maybe I don't speak English or Spanish isn't my first language, here it is right on the website, click on this. Or here's an instructional video that tells you how to do it. Certainly technology's here to do it. It should be done. What about what it's like walking into this office? Because I mean, I've, I've been in there, I, I've seen stacks, and you know, over the years, I've you don't met, like the registry? I, I've met some very <laughs> friendly people, yes. but, but that's because I'm sort of pushy and, and I, I, but you know, for, for someone else who's coming in, they're, they're more intimidated. Yeah, what would you do? I, I think it can be overwhelming, um, if, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And that's where 
the resources of having instructional um, instructions when you come in in multiple languages. You know, the idea that if you walk into the registry right today at Suffolk County, that someone behind the counter doesn't speak another language, we are in the educational mecca. I can't imagine that you couldn't reach out to students in the area, law students, multiple, even high schoolers who would appreciate the opportunity to work in a government agency, and perhaps it's a stepping stone to something else, but that speak other languages. Another thing voters want to know about is, is your ability to manage. I mean, there, there are these, you know, you've got all your rivals on the ballot. They have some management experience. What about yours? So my management, I, as I said, I work for a national underwriter, um, and I was the operations manager for a division in Massachusetts. Um, I know that the folks that work at the registry right now are professionals. Um, and they know what they're doing. I work in a collaborative style. My management is I impart the education, the resources, and I expect folks with that information to do the best that they can. If you're invested in the process, I certainly believe folks follow through with that. Well, we'd like to thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure. Candidate for Suffolk County Register of Deeds, Margarita Champa-Coyne.